Good morning, it's Delicia. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. It is currently 5.14 in the morning um, and I just got up, put on some clothes, put my hair up. I have a few orders to work on. I have some Easter baskets to do. Um, but it does take a while since I have a single needle machine, a flatbed, so I have to sit there and like hold it. Um, I have to make a tutu and I have four open Etsy orders. These were through my Facebook group. So I got to get those done. Some of the stuff I'm waiting for items, um, like my shirts from AJ Blinks, um, some more ribbon for a different tutu and that is it. So my office is a mess. It's quite small, so every time I have to use a certain machine, I have to move things around. So I have my serger on that table, but it's usually on that table. My cutting table is full of junky junk. Um, so yeah, I have Nita on my computer. Um, every time I work, I feel like I have to listen to something, otherwise I'm bored. Um, I've been watching the news, but I need a break from that because so let's get started. Don't mind the outfit. I decided to put on workout clothes because I figure if I put them on, maybe I will work out. If you build it, they will come, you know, that type of situation. So let's get started. I already turned on my machines. All right. I hope you guys are having a great day and let's get started. So I just wanted to show you how I hooped my um, Easter baskets. I bought these ones to do and this was the first time I ever did it so it was new to me. And I didn't even do a tester which was probably a bad idea but I was like yeah YOLO. Um, I have a single needle machine. I have the Baby Love Flourish too, which apparently they don't make anymore I just found out yesterday. They now make something else, the flora or the, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I hoop my stabilizer, tear away. I use this little thing that it comes with and I mark my points. This part actually takes longer than actually um, the stitch out, depending on the name. I have a few more. And we use our 505 spray. And I found my center and pinned this on. Now, I don't really need to worry too much about the center, um, how it's gonna lie this way because I'm just gonna line this up with the top of the hoop. Flip it inside out. So this is possible with a single needle machine, just so you know. Don't be scared. And this is only my five by seven hoop. It's not, um, it's not even a, my big hoop. So then now that it's sticky, I'm going to put, I don't know if you can see, the top of the bag, I'm going to put it at the side, the right side of the hoop. This is where it will connect to the machine. And I want to be able to Put it this way you'll see in a minute why All the way down, make sure it's nice and stuck. And then I got, I use water soluble just to hold it down.
and I do it all the way around. The hard part is going to be getting it on the machine. And then I have to babysit it. So I will see you in a minute. I'm not going to take everything off right now because I'm just going to, once I finish all of them, I'll work on that. And then this is what she looks like. So cute.
so it's a different day different morning outfit it is currently 5 10 in the morning on when wednesday yes so yesterday um, i was working on a couple of the bags then i had a customer um, contact me in regards to an order and so i worked on that just to get it out quicker for them um since it was for a baby's birthday picture outfit um so i got that out then i had a headband order to get out so i worked on that and my kids were just back and forth back and forth so i stopped filming and i am back here this morning i am stopping at 6 30 today so i can do a quick workout before they get out of bed um i still have two of the bags to finish <laughs> um and i've got another tutu order so i'm gonna try if i have enough tools to prepare that i'm still waiting for my ribbon to arrive um but at least i can prep for it right and then i also am still waiting on a shirt order and i have to work on some bunnies in the hoop bunnies but i don't want to do that until after i finish these bags um because then you know the minky will be everywhere but anyway coffee still don't have creamer so i had to make some something It's delicious. So let's go ahead and get these last two bags done. What are you guys working on today? You know, by the time this gets up, it'll be not today. It'll be today for you, but not today for me. Um, yeah. And again, we have to sit with it. Okay, so I have been prepping. Um, I didn't leave you in front of the embroidery machine for too long because it would have just been the same thing as yesterday. So I finished one embroidered bag and while that was going, because um, I have to babysit it, I was working on some of my orders. So I print out, as you guys know, I print out every design I do. And when I get the shirts in later today, I will put it on the shirt to see if I like the size, depending on the shirt. And if you have, I don't know, if single needle, or even if you have a multi-needle and you struggle with, um, or not struggle, but if you're, maybe if you're type A like me, um, ah, sorry, having 
the printouts and putting them on your shirt so you can see the center and all that, it, it's helpful for me anyway. on Etsy or whatever wherever you sell what like how far ahead in seasons are you like right now you know I have, I'm posting Easter stuff well, today's Ash Wednesday um like are you already thinking about fall like I have people on my Etsy that are already favoriting my fall stuff and I was like whoa we haven't even hit summer yet but I mean yeah, go for it. Just curious, like how far in advance do you think about the next thing? Or are there some holidays you skip? Or do you just not even care? You know. How does that work for you? Okay. And I actually have already started prepping my Easter Bunny stuff too. That was such a short name that I embroidered on the bag that I was able to stand up and like move around in my little office. So I prepped this. I need more hoops, but I really don't want to keep investing. I want to get a bigger machine. Okay, so she wants the bright pink thread for this one. So I'm not trimming anything yet. I'm literally taking them off the hoops and then just putting them over here in a basket and then I'll do that later. Cause I can do that stuff while my kids are around. Um, embroidering and stuff I can't. I mean, I could if they were calm children, but they're not. Seven and a half. Pretty close. Okay. This one works so much better. I also still have to press the handles. So I'm going to go set this one up. Same as before. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's the next day. So this is the third day that I have shown up in the morning. It is currently 5.30. I woke up at 4 today instead of 4.30. So I could get my workout in before I worked because I wasn't getting my workout in. So I worked out. I did 40 minutes of hit and then abs and, you know, trying to get rid of that mom bod. Um, showered. And now I look like this. I went to the mailbox. I have some packages. Um, when I left you yesterday, I don't remember what I was doing. Um, but I did, however, finish the Easter baskets. I have them right here. Um, I picked up all the stabilizer. I picked off the threads, all of that. I'm going to press the handles. But first, I'm going to test it out. Um, the company I got them from suggests um, pressing the handles. So I'm going to test one of the ones that I did not embroider and see if an iron works best or if I can just use my heat press. And then I will be packaging these up to go out tomorrow, but I wanted to finish another few more items before I package them. If you are interested in seeing how I package my items, <laughs> whoa, what was that? If you are interested in seeing how I package my items, go ahead and leave a like on this video and I will go ahead and walk you through the process of how I package. And yeah, let's get started. I need to make, oh, I found a thread. Um, I do need to make four Easter bunny treat bags. I have need, I don't even think I've created the files yet. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, and then I have two shirts that need to go out for one order, but I don't want to work on those until I'm done with my, um, Easter treat bags because the minky leaves the machine funky and so I'll you know clean the hoops clean out the bobbin area I take the tray out change my needle I do all the things before I move on to 
shirts to make sure that it's all good, especially since I was embroidering through these. Got an order yesterday for a lovey size blanket. So if you want to see that in a separate video, like me actually doing um, how I do the actual lovey blanket, like from beginning to end, go ahead and leave a comment. But let's get started. I will probably just like yesterday, zoom you through because I only have about an hour and a half until I have to feed my children again. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to get to pressing these shirts. Um, my kids are awake, so I'm gonna have to go deal with them for the rest of the day. So I don't know what the next clip is you're gonna see. I may end the video today. I'm not sure. Um, if you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and let me know down below. It, it, do you like work with me's? I enjoy watching people work with, like the work with me's. I constantly am watching like Nita Fajita and um, Country View Monogram, Ashley. I, I will watch their videos over and over again just because I like, well, when I'm not talking to you guys, um, I'll watch on my phone while I'm doing everything and it just, you know, it's, it's soothing to hear other people working. So let me know if you like that. Um, and also let me know if there's anything else you wanna see me do. If you wanna see me specifically how I make my minky blankets or how I make a tutu, um, go ahead and let me know down below and I can do like a more in-depth tutorial 
I know that I'm still getting used to all of this. So sometimes I talk too much or sometimes I'm just like the cuts in my videos are weird, but I'm still getting used to it all. And I do edit randomly throughout the day um, with screaming children. So it's hard. Um, but yeah, let me know and let's get back to it. Thank you for hanging out with me while I did this work with me. Hopefully it kept you busy a tiny bit, <laughs> but I will see you next time and thank you for stopping by.